Hello to you, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Thank you for joining me here on Fox Local. Of course, Fox Local is our app that you can download for your smart TV and tell your friends about it. If you've already downloaded it, we want as many people as possible to have it because it is free, it is cool, you don't have to pay for it, no email address has to be added. And of course, we've got a lot of exclusive content that we're going to be throwing your way over the coming days, weeks, and months on our Fox Local app. Of course, we gave you a a lot of extra bonus content with this big arctic blast that we've almost made it through and now we've got another big time weather pattern change coming and we will have more exclusive content more continuous weather coverage only on our Fox local app, some of it at least. So make sure to check it out. As far as this pattern change that we have heading our way, it is another big one. Of course, we just got through a few super cold, brutally cold days with record cold temperatures. We had a little bit of freezing rain, sleet, and even a few snowflakes mixing in. So we got our fair share of winter weather. Now we're gonna kind of flip back to more of a spring-like pattern, but it's gonna be more of an extreme pattern because we're talking about a lot of rain potentially and some warm temperatures, but that rain could lead to some flooding. So this big pattern change likely rolling in early next week. It's going to be much warmer and wetter, and this pattern will likely set up for much of next week. In fact, the Climate Prediction Center is giving us about a 70 to 80 percent chance of above normal precipitation for much of next week. That's a pretty high shot that it is going to be wet, it's going to be soggy, and that rain will be more than what we are typically used to seeing during that time frame. So of course that means the flood threat will be increasing as we go into early next week. So the time is now to start thinking about how you're going to prepare for those potential flooded roads. We are going to have this activity starting to build in, like I said, early next week. So here is the timeline. I expect mainly dry weather for the first part of your weekend. Sunday, though, a few showers will start to roll in, especially Sunday evening, Sunday night, and then widespread rain. Some of it will likely be heavy. We'll start to push in for Monday, Tuesday, and even into Wednesday. So a lot to talk about. But here is the map showing that we are right in the middle of that wetter than normal pattern. Like I said, about a 70 to 80% probability that we will have above normal precipitation for much of next week. In particular, January 22nd through January 26th. But I think even by Monday of next week, that rain will start to build in and it is going to be fairly widespread. So time to start pulling out the rain gear, the rain boots, the poncho, the umbrella, whatever else you need, because it is definitely going to get pretty soggy next week. All right, so let me track these rain chances for you with our computer model. Notice that I did stop the clock here around 2 p.m. on Thursday. There are a few showers that we could have ahead of a cold front Thursday, but the chance for rain Thursday only about 10%. So I wouldn't worry too much about our rain chances coming up for Thursday. However, as we go into the weekend, things start to change. I think for Friday, we are much cooler, but dry. Saturday, we are dry. Notice Saturday, 10 p.m., no precip showing up over the Houston area. However, Sunday, things start to change, especially Sunday afternoon and evening. So if you want to get out, enjoy yourself this weekend, maybe go for a walk, go for a jog. You've got Saturday, it's completely dry. Sunday, the first half of the day, Sunday morning, probably still dry, but by Sunday afternoon and evening, notice those lighter rain showers starting to roll into the Houston area. Then it's just going to go downhill from there as we go into Sunday night and Monday morning. In fact, we are looking at the Monday morning 9 a.m. time frame and notice the green start to get a little bit darker. That darker green indicates heavier rain that will start to pile up and move into the area. So definitely Monday morning drive into work for school looking a bit messy. So we've had some pretty active Mondays, of course. Earlier this week on Monday, we had the ice in many parts of the area. Monday before that, we had tornado warnings. And this Monday, it looks like we will have the potential for some heavy rain and possibly some flooding. So as we go through Monday, notice the rain really doesn't let up. Even by Monday, 5 p.m. for that drive home, we are still looking at widespread rain for the area. 
Monday night, Tuesday morning, same story. This rain just will not let up. It's going to keep coming at us in waves and it is going to be adding up. Even through Wednesday, I do anticipate the potential for more of that rain. So we are going to be dealing with quite a bit of rain across the area. In fact, I do want to show you this map. This kind of tells the story. Things are pretty quiet for tomorrow, only about a 10% chance for rain in the area. But as we go into Friday and Saturday, we'll get a break still from the rain. Sunday though, rain starts to return, but notice it's not much, just a few specks of green showing up on the map for Sunday. But boom, there it is, Monday. Notice the yellows, the oranges, the reds, that is all representative of some very heavy rain that will be building in. So a messy drive into work Monday and likely not any better for that drive home for the evening rush. So there will be a higher shot for a little bit of flooding beginning on Monday, more heavy rain on Tuesday will keep that flood threat higher and we could have even more rain coming down on Wednesday. How much rain are we talking about? Well, let me track that for you as well. This is a look at Thursday, 9 p.m. Notice there's a little bit of light green trying to get close to Houston. Just a very small chance for an isolated shower on Thursday ahead of a cold front. I think we're mainly dry for Friday, Saturday, the first part of Sunday. But Sunday night into Monday, that next round of rain starts to build back in and it moves back in quickly. In fact, this is 7 p.m. Monday, so basically between Sunday and Monday evening around 7 p.m. This model indicating maybe around one to two inches of rain accumulating across the Houston area and even heavier totals south and west of Houston down around Wharton and Lake Jackson. It gets worse as we go through Tuesday. Of course, that rain continues to fall. It will be adding up. So I think we might get one to two inches on Monday. Models are indicating that we could have another one, two, possibly two and a half inches to add to that on Tuesday. So by Tuesday night at 11 p.m., this is a color we don't see on this map that often. We've got the blues and the purples showing up. That would indicate maybe four, five, close to six inches of rain for parts of the area. It looks like Houston's still in the blue. That would put us firmly in the four to five inch total, and that is going to be between Sunday night and Tuesday night. So at least we're kind of spreading it out over a couple of days. However, that is still a lot of heavy rain, and of course that flood threat will be increasing. So it's not here yet, but it's never too early to go ahead and start thinking about some of these things. Of course, flood safety. If we do start to get flooding in the area, you always want to remember, turn around, don't drown. You never want to drive across a flooded road. You don't know what's underneath that water, how deep it is, if the road is even intact, and there could be live electrical wires in that water. There could be animals, sharp debris, and also you can cause issues, major damage to your car. So Definitely, it is not the thing to do. And of course, remember, if you get stuck, if your car stalls, you could be in danger yourself. So before we even get to early next week, just keep these things in mind. Make sure that you try to find an alternate route in case you do encounter any potential flooded road. So that is all I have for you. Of course, we'll be getting here on Fox Local and getting you updates as we get closer to this. And we will have more information on this potential for heavy rain and flooding, of course, here at Fox Local, you can get a ton of things, lots of information. You can watch our newscast live, of course, for free. We've got special features here like Mondays with Mike. We've got winter weather updates, and now we're going to have updates on the threat for the flooding. And of course, there's no subscription. You don't have to put your email address in. You don't have to pay anything. So this is a great app to have. And of course, once again, it is for your smart TV, not for your phone, but it is for your smart TV. So just head to your smart TV's app store, search for Fox Local, and make sure to grab it today. If you haven't already, make sure to tell your friends, family about it, because it's going to be a great thing to have, especially with our Houston weather, as crazy as it has been over the last few weeks. All right, well, that is it for this update. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. Thank you for joining me and have a great evening.